Hey Leo, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for December 30th to the 31st of 2021. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Leo. Next 48 hours for my Leo. What does Leo need to know for December 30th to the 31st of 2021? All right, we have 36, which is a nine. Gold, you don't need someone else to fix you. We have two, evil queen, you deserve sugar, not salt. We have one, princess, you can be your own knight. I can already tell what this is, but let me pull all the cards first. 20 oh excuse me 21 which is a three clover release your guilt so you have one two three and nine so it's like this is a codependent relationship whether you're codependent on that person or they are on you i feel like there's someone who purposefully gives you the opposite of what you ask you want something specific and you tell them very directly and they purposefully give you the opposite. But when you finally confront them and cut them off, they try to act like they have no idea what you're talking about. Gaslighting. They're like, no, I didn't mean it like that. Or you're seeing things the wrong way or you're taking things too seriously or too personally. They do, they give you the opposite of what you want on purpose. They hurt your feelings on purpose. They do these things on purpose. But when you confront them directly, they act like they don't know what you're talking about or they tell you you're seeing it wrong or you're taking things too seriously or too personally. And like when it says you don't need someone else to fix you, I feel like you're waiting for this person to admit their wrongdoing so that you can feel better about yourself so that this relationship can get fixed. But that's not what you're meant to do. What you're meant to do is take the situation for what it is. Don't listen to what people say. Focus on what they do. Like you told this person time and time again exactly what you want and they're not doing it. Regardless of what they say, focus on their actions and they've proven to you multiple times and I'm getting orange for all these cards, sacral energy. They've shown you with action time and time again, they don't care what you want. They're going to do the opposite and they're going to pretend like they're not meant to do it. They, they're hurting you on purpose. All right. For whatever reason, they're doing it on purpose and they're going to continue for Leo, let's get into the tarot. Next 48 hours for Leo. What does Leo need to know for December 30th to 31st of 2021? What does Leo need to know for December 30th to 31st of 2021? Now let's see what's going on with your next 48. I feel like this is a hospital reading. I don't know why I'm getting a hospital. All right. Um, we have the hanged one, which is Pisces, the hanged man. We have the Princess of Cups, which is the Page of Cups. So definitely more Pisces, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Temperance, Sagittarius. You may want to check out any readings by those signs. And the Moon card, Pisces. So Pisces and Sagittarius all through this. And the overall energy is the King of Swords, Air, Energy, Aquarius, Super Gemini. So yeah, things are very direct and clear to see. I feel like you are the King of Swords, though. You're being direct. Or you could be dealing with someone. It's like, release your guilt. When it says release your guilt, whether you're in the hospital or this person is in the hospital, it does not matter who is sick, who is down and out. This person has been hurting you on purpose. Queen of, queen, evil queen. You deserve sugar, not salt. And with release your guilt, this person has purposefully been giving you the opposite of what you asked for on purpose. They want to hurt you on purpose. All right. I don't care what the reason is. So it's time for you to be direct with them. Release your guilt and be honest, direct, straightforward. No more, no less. Don't give them too much. Don't send a whole text, a paragraph about why you don't like them, what they're doing, yada, yada, yada. They're not going to read it anyway. <laughs> Just be direct. I don't like you. We're done. It's over. You're no, you're no longer part of this um, company, this relationship. You're fired. Just be direct. One or two sentences max. You don't need a paragraph. They're not going to read it anyway. They don't care. Just cut them off. Clarify this for Leo. Clarify this message for Leo. Last shuffle. Clarify this message for my Leos. I'm just telling you the truth. Because that's what I do when I'm on YouTube. If somebody posts a whole paragraph about what they don't like, I'm not reading that whole thing. I read the first 
um, few letters, the first line, and after that, I don't care. So I know for a fact this person don't care. <laughs> Clarifying the hanged one is the full card Aquarius. Justice card Libra. So it could definitely be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra. This person's, if you, it's like in YouTube, if someone posts a reading or a video or whatever, if someone comments something negative, it's nine times out of ten it's best for you not to respond because if you respond to the negative comment that person's not going to respond to you they only respond it's like a troll they want you to get upset and then they're not going to respond to you they just want you to look stupid and mad so evil queen you deserve sugar not salt this person is purposefully elicting evil negative energy within you they want you to be angry so don't feed into it. Don't send them a paragraph. Don't go off on them. Don't start a campaign. Just send them the, the registration letter, their their resignation letter. Let them know they're fired straight up. Don't give them anything personal. Or let them know they're cut off or just stop talking to them. I feel like you should be direct with them now. Send them one or two sentences max. It's done. It's over. I send you the best. Bye. With the full card. Injustice and the hang one. I feel like it's just telling you be direct. You've seen both sides of a situation. You know you would never do something like that. You've done your best, vice versa. Don't send them all that though. Just let them know that they're fired. And that's justice, period. Clarifying the page of cups is the five of pentacles. Yes, go it alone. They're gonna feel the same way. They may not show it, but they're gonna be down and out without you. Not a source. They're gonna rush back trying to get their job back, but it's too late. They shouldn't have did what they did. They did not expect you to cut them off. They expected you to try to talk it out, to argue with them, to fight for them. That's what they expected. They did not expect you to cut them off and move on. So at first, they're going to act like they don't care. But as soon as you cut them off and move on, no more than a month or two, month and a half max, they're going to be trying to come back and fight for their position back in your life. Clarifying temperance, the page of pentacles, yep. You're going to have a new person come in and take their position. There's going to be an apprentice. They're very young but their their main focus is trying to do the right thing trying to be a good employee so they're a better suit for you king of swords again here so right after you cut this person off you have an apprentice that comes in who actually wants they're a sponge they want to soak up all they need to know they want they just want to be good they don't have no ulterior motives there's someone new coming in who has no ulterior motives they just want to be good at their job so cut off this person that's been there who's not trying to learn. They're just trying to be petty. Cut them off and replace them. You got somebody who wants to take their position like that. Clarifying the moon card is six of swords. Yeah, you're going to let it go. Six of cups. So the, you've been dealing with this person for a while. And I feel like for some of you, it's um in your career. It's very um, platonic. Whether it's a friend or career or family, this person's been dragging this along because they thought they could you know they've been in your life for years so they thought they could drag it on as long as possible but then you cut them off like really quick without saying too much and then it's like they had a lot of secrets and they expected you to want to dig and pry and ask but you don't with the moon card that's secrecy and mysticism but with the six of swords clarifying that you just let it go you don't care and with the six of cups the history the secrecy you don't care about none of that you don't ask about none of that you just cut them off because you don't have time for it and then we have the page of pentacles which is someone new someone younger or page of cups so it could be a younger earth sign virgo towards capricorn or a younger water sign cancer scorpio pisces i also have with the overall energy wheel of fortune that's aquarius scorpio leo taurus you're focused on those new signs coming in so these are rookies or people younger. These people just want to be good at their job. They just want to, they're sponges. They just want to soak up all the newness. They don't have no history with you. They don't have no burdens with you or trying to like win or any of that. You're focused on the newcomers. This person, they're fired and they're going to be pissed because they thought they had it like that because they've been working for you for so long, but they're so petty trying to like, it's, it's just they have their own personal issues with you but you're releasing your guilt because your issue with trying to hold on to them is that you felt bad for them you wanted to help them because either they're family or a longtime friend so you believe in loyalty but this person does not they want to destroy you and you want to help them but you're having to learn the hard way to cut them off and not get any answers you are not going to get closure from them 
cut them off and focus on the new people. All right. I'm going to leave it there. I know that was a harsh message, but I have to give it to you how I get it. <laughs> if this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me. All of my information is linked in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, she has bracelets, rings, necklaces, sun catchers, and she does commission work. Her Etsy is linked below. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.